Hi everyone, I'm here to go over project one, 1.01, Realism, Abstract, and Non-Objective Scenery. I'm going to share my screen. Share. And there we go. All right, this is the example that I did and I'm going to show you exactly what I did. Um, pretty much you're going to have a sheet of paper and you're going to fold it into threes. Um, you're going to title one side realism, the middle one abstract, and the right side non-objective. So let's go ahead and go and do that. Fold your sheet of paper into thirds. Grab your writing utensil of choice. Left-hand column, realism. Middle column was abstract. And the right-hand side is non-objective. Now you're going to think of a piece of scenery. The one that they provided for you on the computer, they did mountains. The one I did for myself was the beach. Let's see if we can do something a little different. Another piece of scenery we can do is um, 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 the forest. So grab your coloring utensils of choice. I'm going to go with markers because they make my life a whole lot easier. I'm going to grab black. Here we go. All right. Realism is just that. It means that it looks the most realistic. Abstract means you can still kind of tell what's happening, but they're using big, bright colors. It's almost, almost cartoonish. It's not realistic, but you can still tell what you're looking at. And not objective is, it means that it's objective to the viewer. It's, it, they use very vague shapes and it's almost like what am I looking at so if we're going to do a forest I'm going to make a realistic forest first um yeah let's go ahead and do black and I'm going to do pine trees not really good at drawing realistic pine trees but we're going to go ahead and draw them anyways pine trees and then we'll do a big one up front maybe I'm just ready for Christmas you can tell these are trees. Uh, let's do a few more. All right, and then one more over here. And then they're gonna have brown trunks, okay? So those are supposed to be realistic looking trees. Abstract, um, vague shapes and broad colors. So we're just gonna do triangles. Big triangle, 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 Maybe you can tell that those are supposed to be trees. And then not objective, <laughs> I'm just, I'm not exactly sure how one would go about it. So let's go ahead and this is gonna be a tree. It's very objective to my point of view that this is a tree. This is a tree. Unless someone was explaining to you what you're looking at, it's hard to tell what objective is supposed to be. These are trees, okay? Realistic trees. You can kind of get an idea that these are supposed to be trees, and unless someone explains to you what those are, you really don't have an idea as to what those tree that those are trees. So here we go. Got a color. Again, I'm using markers because that's what I wanted to use. I'm gonna make a couple of them different colors too. Okay. And then this one over here. Okay. Not all forests use the same green. Because of the shapes that I'm using, you can definitely tell that this is supposed to be a forest. All right. Again, you're going to spend more time on this than me. So you would color in a lot prettier than what I just did. And brown for trunks of the trees. There. Without anyone explaining to you what you're looking at, you can tell this is supposed to be a forest. For this one, like I said, it's going to be a bit abstract. We're going to throw in a green tree as well, but we're also going to throw in some purple and pink trees. Let's go and throw some purple and pink. So now we're getting into an abstract 
So again, you might be able to tell, it's almost like a Dr. Seuss-ish kind of a feeling. You can still tell because of the vague shapes that these are supposed to be trees. They're just a little different. And then I'm still gonna use brown for trunks. There, you can still tell that's a forest. This one's more realistic, this one's a little bit weird. And now for the non-objective weird stuff. Let me zoom in just a little bit because I didn't realize how far away my screen was. Um, I'm in a blue mood. Let's go ahead and non-objective. And then, sure, why not? Now, uh, they almost look like power lines of some sort, but there you have a, a landscape, realistic trees, abstract trees, and weird non-objective. That is what you're going to do. You're gonna choose a landscape. They used a mountain range. I did one, it's a beach. And I just did one that's a forest. Choose your landscape, make it abstract, realistic, non-objective, and then you're done.